Hey there friends, it is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Unicorn Dude lesson. Sometimes when I assign it, you people are so awesome, you've already created the basic Unicorn Dude. So, for you my friends, I've got an upgrade. Let's get cracking. Alrighty friends, let's start by making sure we do not wreck what we've built. I'm gonna grab it all, not the base, and let's hit that lovely duplicate button or control D and then grab and move it to a separate spot. I'm gonna hold down shift and use my favorite trick to shrink it. That way we've got two different sizes. And then let's bust some stuff apart and make it cooler. So I'm gonna ungroup the shoes, delete one, and then I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna add a sweet shoelace. I'm gonna do the shoelace with scribble. I'm gonna just draw the little bow and then I'm gonna give it little marks that would be like where the laces went through. You know how they always end with the last one. When we hit done, you can see that shoelace shows up. It's way too thick. I'm going to make my shoelaces the color white. And then I'm going to move it over to my shoe. And my favorite way to lift them up is control up. And then another cool feature is I can twist it at a little bit of an angle. So they stick out just the way I want. And then if you want to make them thinner, you got to do some trickeration to push along this flat edge. We need to hit work plane and click on the flat lace. I'm going to change the grid for nudging to something a little smaller. And then I'm going to lift it up or down just the way I want along that flat plane. If you don't lift that plane, it doesn't do it the way you want. When I'm done, I'm going to put the work plane back. I'm going to set it back to a one millimeter grid. I'm going to double check and see if that is sweet. It's a little bit twisted kitty wampus. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to just twist it till it's perfect. I'm going to go control up. I like that. And then I want this dude's shoes to be different than his buddies. So I'm going to give him some sweet black shoes. And I'm going to group those two. I'm going to turn on multicolor. And then I'm going to do control D to make a second shoe, rotate it to some custom angle, make sure it looks good on my buddy. And then we'll grab those four items, even though they're shaped as two, and we'll group them as well. So we've just added sweet custom shoelaces in mere minutes. We could draw scribble arms, but I'm going to take you to another place called featured and show you the bent pipe. We want to put the bent pipe up here, so let's put a work plane on this flat spot where we're going to connect the arm. And when you bring it out, now it is ready to be attached to that wall. It's just crazy large. So I'm going to set the numbers to 5, 15, and then I want these to be 10 and 10. Got to give it a minute to catch up. There it finally did. And now to get it rotated correctly, we need to rotate it like this. And then we need to look at it from the top and we need to rotate it like this. So now it looks like an arm, but I want to twist it out. So I'm going to rotate it like that. That's some pretty advanced stuff. But now you can nudge it up where you want. Now it is silly as can be to have it coming out by his ears. But I don't care. I'm all about silly. Silly works. Get it aimed just a little bit so it's more like he's waving. I'm actually going to raise it up so the hand's above. And then let's attach one of the cool pieces from the characters. So we'll give him a hand out here. Once again, I'm going to hit work plane or W and go to this spot. And let's give them the peace hand. When we bring that out, it is tilted all wackadoodle because of what I just did. What we're going to do is rotate it like this. So that way it's aimed in that direction correct. And then if we look at it from the side, we just need to stand it up. Now if you hit D, it'll drop back. And you can see that that hand is attached to that cute little arm at a pretty nifty size or pretty nifty angle. Now the size is too large, so let's do shift and we'll shrink it down so that it actually fits the way we want. Use the arrow keys and then set that work plane down to the ground. Just like that, you've got a cool arm 
with an awesome peace sign attached to it as well. I'm going to put an arm on the other side and I'm going to do those steps completely together again. I'm going to click on the side of the head where I want the arm to be, return to that cool featured area, bring out that tube, set my numbers to 5, 10, 10, and 10. And let's rotate this one a little different. If we look at it from the front, it's pretty easy to see that we need to snap it out like that. I'm going to orbit to the side, and this little dude's in my way at the moment. So I'm going to grab all of that real quick, and I'm just going to hide it. So now I can just see what I'm doing on this guy. I can nudge this arm back, down. Let's find that rotation handle and stand it up. You can also just grab and drag it and it'll go right on that work plane. I think I'm actually gonna aim it down. This is where you can have fun making it look however you want. Let's return to the characters. Let's bring out that other hand, but let's try something different. Let's put this one down on the ground and adjust it. So if you look at this, the thumb is right here. So if we rotate this around, you can see that's lined up pretty decent. I'm going to actually lift it with the cone. And then I'm just going to shift squeeze it till it's a size that fits his hand. And then I can use the arrows to nudge it into place. Little control up. Let's take a look. All right, stay in here. Let's add a quick mustache. I'm going to do work plane so I've got this flat face if you want to change anything make sure you're on the work plane now I can nudge that down bring out the mustache I don't like where that one went so I'm gonna bring it out again so notice it shows up wrong all we got to do is rotate it 90 degrees if you can't hit the arrow just type the number squish it in and make it look the way you want on your little unicorn dude I'm going to delete his middle eye quick, and let's give him goggles. I'll bring these out the same way too. Notice I do have to rotate them to get them right. But once I do this, I can hit D and it drops to that work plane. And then we can just move them into place until we're happy. And then if you hold down Shift and Squeeze, you can get them so they're exactly how they're supposed to be for your dude. And because we're on this work plane, you can also shrink it in and make it the right color to be your swimming mask. Friends, there are hats. You could add a rocket pack. Swim fins. You can add anything you want as you make your unicorn dude and friends more and more incredible. Alrighty, friends, hopefully that gives you a lot of ideas on how you can make your unicorn dude more awesome. Uh, there's no limits to what you can add to these little people. Uh, they are totally yours to play with, and the only way to not get it right is to not turn it in, which you've already done once. Uh, friends, you can turn these in again to the same lesson, or you can also add them to the fridge lesson where you can show off the cool things that you're doing. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, Add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.